Atmospheric River may sound like something new, but it's really just another name for the Pineapple Express. This is what we used to call the drenching warm rains that flow from just to the north of Hawaii. It turns out that the Pineapple Express is just one type of atmospheric river. Researchers in the 1990s determined that these narrow bands of moisture over the oceans constantly transport huge amounts of water from the tropics to the mid-latitudes where we live. These plumes of water vapor are narrow, usually only several hundred miles wide, but thousands of miles long, resembling a river in the sky. And these rivers are low in the atmosphere, generally less than two miles in depth, far below where jetliners fly. Despite being narrow, they carry unbelievable amounts of water. The largest atmospheric rivers may carry the equivalent of two Amazon rivers, almost 10 trillion gallons of water per day. Most of this water vapor stays in the clouds until it collides with land, like our west coast. Since all this water is low in the atmosphere, it's forced up over the mountains, and in the process, much of that water is dropped on the west-facing slopes. The most destructive atmospheric rivers are those that stall over one area and persist for days. These are the ones that can dump feet of rainfall and cause massive flooding and widespread landslides. However, weaker atmospheric rivers are important to our water supply. 30 to 50% of West Coast rainfall comes from atmospheric rivers.